Chapter 931 Inheritance of the Bloodline 2 Of course, we must continue. It's the rule, replied the Divine Phoenix. A scarlet gleam immediately shrouded Yi Kington, Superior Marshal Dallant, yellow spirit root among the red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue and purple of the mortal world. The Divine Phoenix muttered in disappointment. The truth was that no matter what kind of spirit root Yi Kington had, it was not important to the Divine Phoenix. Even if the girl in green had a red spirit root, she still had the Phoenix bloodline. Yi Kington saw that if matters continued in this vein, she would not be destined to obtain the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix. With a flash of light, a golden image of a Phoenix emerged behind Yi Kington, and the call of the Phoenix rang out from her mouth. The next moment, golden flames erupted from Yi Kington's body. At that moment, Yi Kington's entire body was covered in flames. Added to the image of the phoenix behind her, her entire person looked like a divine phoenix undergoing the rise of the phoenix. This scene caused the divine phoenix's expression to change. Ultimate origin skill. Rise of the phoenix. When the girl in green saw the golden image of a phoenix behind Yi Kington, she wrinkled her elegant brows slightly. The ultimate origin skill was derived from paragon skills. Although it was not part of the phoenix bloodline, to be able to understand the paragon skill related to the phoenix meant that the person had a close connection with the phoenix. Her paragon skill was already so formidable, what's more, it was her ultimate origin skill. Legend had it that before the world was created, a true god existed in the universe. After the world appeared, the true god fell and every true god was subject to rebirth, and they were reborn as humans. According to legends, once any cultivator understood the paragon skill, it was as if his body remembered the genetic composition of the true god and longed to return to its shrine. Those who understood ultimate origin skill were even more powerful. In other words, this girl who had understood the ultimate origin skill, Rise of the Phoenix, was even more suited to the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix than the girl in green with the Phoenix bloodline. Yes, not bad. The Divine Phoenix withdrew the scarlet glow and said to Yi Kington, If I may ask the Lord Divine Phoenix, which of us is more suitable to be your successor? The girl in green asked, Although you are very suitable, unfortunately, she is even more suitable said the Divine Phoenix. What? When she heard the Divine Phoenix's reply, the smile was wiped off the girl in green's face. The girl in green had not expected the Divine Phoenix to respond like that. The truth was that the girl in green was from a mutated demonic bloodline which could absorb the power of all the bloodlines in the world. Half a year ago, she had killed a girl who had the Phoenix bloodline then used her own mutated demonic bloodline to swallow her opponent's phoenix bloodline, and transformed it into a part of herself. This time, she had relied on her possessing the phoenix bloodline and was certain that she could obtain the inheritance of the divine phoenix. That was why she had not wavered at all when faced with the Dharma treasures earlier. Yet, who would have thought this would be the outcome? Is that so the girl in green's icy cold look fell on Yi Kington? Then I must congratulate you. Yi Kington frowned slightly when she sensed the cold gleam that shimmered in the eyes of the girl in green. This girl, who peak martial talents, a blue spirit root, and phoenix bloodline, gave one a sense of inscrutable power. She could also tell that after the divine phoenix chose her as its successor, the girl in green would be very hostile towards her. Go back. Without giving Yi Kington an opportunity to speak, the divine phoenix issued a command, and the girl in green's body turned transparent before being she was sent out. Chapter 932 Inheritance of the Bloodline 3 Now, only Yi Kington and the divine phoenix were left in the empty palace. You have ultimate origin skill and are related to the phoenix. You are best suited to be my successor and follow in my footsteps, said the divine phoenix. Thank you, Lord Divine Phoenix. Yi Kington thanked the divine phoenix and could not help but heave a sigh of relief. Ling Yan's judgment was truly startling in its accuracy. I will also give you the mirror of illusions. With that, the mirror of illusions that had been abandoned by the others drifted by itself to Yi Kington's hand. Yi Kington's eyes brightened slightly. She had thought that after she had chosen the inheritance of the divine phoenix, she was no longer destined to have the mirror of illusions. 
who knew, Yi Qingtong immediately accepted the mirror of illusions. She was extremely grateful to the Divine Phoenix. Come with me, said the Divine Phoenix. After a short while, Yi Qingtong had followed the Divine Phoenix into the depths of the palace. In front of them was a gigantic skeleton which gave off an indescribable terrible majesty. This skeleton had died many moons ago. Even so, the moment one went near, its terrible power burst forth. The powerful majesty transformed into a frightening might that seemed to shroud the entire world. This is, Yi Qingtong looked at the divine phoenix in shock. As you can see, these are my bones, said the divine phoenix. The divine phoenix had died millions of years ago. The scarlet image today was just a remnant of its divine sense. I see. Yi Qingtong studied the skeleton with a shocked expression. In her two lives, this was the first time she was seeing the existence of such a frightening thing. This must be a mature fiend celestial beast at the initial grade. It contained more power than even Yi Qingtong could imagine. Even after the little white tiger reached maturity, it would not be as powerful. Greetings, Senior. Little White Tiger suddenly popped its head out of Yi Kington's arms and spoke to the Scarlet Image. Oh, the Divine Phoenix studied Little White Tiger and said thoughtfully, Are you from the White Tiger clan of the Four Fiend Celestial Beasts? Yes, Senior Divine Phoenix. Little White Tiger nodded obediently. When the Divine Phoenix was nearing the peak of its initial grade, Little White Tiger's father had probably not been born. Yes, not bad. You are unusual to be able to tame a young fiend celestial beast from the White Tiger clan. The Divine Phoenix looked at Yi Qingtong and spoke in relief. Kneel. The Divine Phoenix suddenly spoke, without waiting for Yi Qingtong to reply. When she heard that, Yi Qingtong knelt without hesitation and bowed to the Divine Phoenix. From now on, you are my successor. In the future, if you meet the Divine Phoenix clan, you must treat them well. Do you understand? Asked the Divine Phoenix. I understand. Said Yi Kington. Very well, arise, said the Divine Phoenix. With that, Yi Kington rose slowly. Leave us for a while. I have something I need to say to her, said the Divine Phoenix as it looked at the little white tiger in Yi Kington's arms. Yes, senior. Little White Tiger jumped from Yi Kington's arms to the ground. It also dragged out the little lightning dragon and vanished without a trace. What is your name? The Divine Phoenix looked at Yi Kington. My surname is Yi, my name is Kington. Yi Kington answered truthfully. Kington, you are my successor. I will transfer the true bloodline of the Divine Phoenix to you. As the Divine Phoenix spoke, the Scarlet Glow transformed into a Scarlet Roaring Flame that immediately engulfed Yi Kington. Yi Kington was not harmed by this indescribable flame. Instead, the golden flame in her body seemed to resonate with it and leapt forth. Chapter 933 Inheritance of the Bloodline 4 At that moment, it was as if Yi Kington was wrapped in a small sun. Her entire body radiated with a startling glow. This is the purest power of my inheritance. You will need time to break it down and integrate it. You cannot leave until you have absorbed the entire power of the inheritance, said the Divine Phoenix as it looked at Yi Kington. When she heard that, Yi Kington nodded slightly. However, she could help but be shocked. The power of the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix was so great that it was frightening. Having obtained my inheritance, I hope that you will agree to a condition. The Divine Phoenix thought for a long time before it spoke. Condition? Yi Kington was slightly taken aback by the Divine Phoenix's words but immediately asked, What does the Lord Divine Phoenix require of me, my clan? The Divine Phoenix finally spoke after a long pause. The Phoenix clan of the four fiend celestial beasts Yi Kington looked thoughtful. That's right, the Phoenix clan. The Divine Phoenix nodded. I died too long ago. Today, only a trace of my remaining spirit is speaking to you. However, when I was dying, I could sense that something changed in my clan. Their aura dissipated slowly as if they were under some kind of indescribable oppression. Oppression? Yi Kington looked shocked and was even a little disbelieving. As one of the four fiend celestial beasts, 
The Phoenix clan was incredibly powerful. They did not lack mature phoenixes. Even those of the initial grade would still exist within the clan. Who in this world could oppress the Phoenix clan? Even the legendary true god would not be able to easily achieve that. Yi Kington suddenly remembered that it was not just the Phoenix clan. She had heard Little White Tiger mention that its clan and parents, the White Tiger clan, were also one of the four fiend celestial beasts. However, from the bits and pieces that Little White Tiger had told her, Yi Kington had discerned that the White Tiger clan seemed to have encountered some kind of startling change. Now, Yi Kington heard from the Divine Phoenix that the Phoenix clan might have encountered some kind of oppression. Further, the Phoenix clan and the White Tiger clan both belonged to the four fiend celestial beasts. Perhaps there was some kind of connection between the two of them. Lord Divine Phoenix, I will do my best to investigate and find out the truth. Yi Kington spoke after a long pause. No need to force the matter. Your life is more important said the divine phoenix, to repress the phoenix clan of the four fiend celestial beasts. The entity must possess supernatural martial power. It was a pity that the divine phoenix had died millions of years ago and was unable to leave this place to return to the habitat of the phoenix clan. It was also unsure what had actually happened to the phoenix clan. I will remember, promised E. Kington, in the future, when you have grown. You must remember where your inheritance is from. You must do your utmost to help me find out the truth. After that, return here and tell me the truth, said the Divine Phoenix. Lord Divine Phoenix, please don't worry. I understand. Yi Kington nodded. Yi Kington was very respectful of the Divine Phoenix. Even though it had died millions of years, it still had a deep longing for the Phoenix clan. In this world, few could do as the Divine Phoenix had done. To Yi Kington, whether it was the Phoenix Clan or the White Tiger Clan, they all held special meaning in her heart. Chapter 934 The Heart of the Heavenly Dao One In both lifetimes, Yi Kington never thought that she would have any connection to a fiend celestial beast. However, after her rebirth, she first became linked to the little white tiger and then obtained the inheritance of the divine phoenix to become the only descendant of the divine phoenix. It seemed that she had an unknown fate with fiend celestial beasts in this life. In the divine phoenix's warm envelopment, about half a month had slipped by unconsciously. During this period of time, the blood in E. Kington's body seemed to be cleansed over and over again. Currently, her blood had turned into scorching flames of which the divine might was unstoppable. The original divine phoenix bloodline at this moment, Yi Kington's eyes were burning. Bloodlines were divided into ranks as well. For the phoenix bloodline, there had been too many renewals of bloodline since the primordial era, but the purest form was the original bloodline. Yi Kington's bloodline was personally imparted by the divine phoenix and was the purest form. In the case of the girl in green from before, Although she also had the phoenix bloodline, it was not as pure as Yi Kington's original phoenix bloodline. The difference and hierarchy between both bloodlines was like that of a monarch and a subject. Kington, how is your current cultivation base after absorbing a large amount of the power of the bloodline? The divine phoenix asked some time later. Yi Kington hurriedly replied, Lord divine phoenix, I have already advanced from yin yang third heaven to fifth heaven, fifth heaven. Hearing that Yi Kington only entered the fifth heaven, the divine phoenix was taken aback. According to logic, even if the person was an extremely ordinary person without any martial skills, their martial cultivation would at least enter the arcane supremacy realm after obtaining its inheritance. Yi Kington was already at the yin yang perfected lord third heaven realm before this yet she only advanced two small realms after inheriting large amounts of the power of its bloodline. Lord Divine Phoenix, did something happen? Yi Kington's heart skipped a beat when she heard the odd tone in the Divine Phoenix's voice. Okay, don't panic first. I'll take a look after you have completely combined and absorbed the bloodline inheritance, said the Divine Phoenix. Since the Divine Phoenix said that, Yi Kington did not say anything and could only continue to wait. The burning sensation which enveloped Yi Kington was like the rays of a mini sun that dimmed over time. Another half a month later, all of the flames were completely absorbed by Yi Kington. What is your cultivation realm now? The divine phoenix opened its eyes and looked at Yi Kington, 
who had finished absorbing all of the powers of its bloodline. Lord Divine Phoenix, I am currently in the Yang Lord realm and at the peak of the seventh heaven. Yi King Tang answered, Peak of Yin Yang perfected Lord Seventh Heaven. You haven't reached the Eighth Heaven. What exactly is going on? The Divine Phoenix's tone was extremely strange. The Divine Phoenix was immensely confident in its bloodline inheritance. According to logic, after absorbing its bloodline inheritance completely, Yi King Tang should at least be able to advance to the Divine Arcane Supremacy Realm and even be at the Heavenly Venerate Realm. Even those ordinary humans without any martial cultivation should be able to enter the divine arcane supremacy realm after obtaining its inheritance. Yet Yi King Tung, who possessed a high martial gift and the blessing of the ultimate origin skill, Rise of the Phoenix, only advanced for small realms. How could this be possible? That's not right. What exactly went wrong? The divine phoenix mumbled as it pondered deeply. A while later, the divine phoenix finally looked at Yi King Tung and said, I need to look at your body again. Chapter 935 The Heart of the Heavenly Dao 2 Yi Kington was extremely cooperative and nodded her head in agreement with the Divine Phoenix's request. Very quickly, a scarlet glow enveloped Yi Kington once again. Superior martial gift that is close to top-notch quality. Possession of the ultimate origin skill. Rise of the Phoenix. There is nothing wrong with this. But what exactly is the problem? The Divine Phoenix could not find an answer no matter how hard it pondered, it was as though the majority of the powers of its inheritance disappeared somewhere. Very quickly, the scarlet glow intensified, and the Divine Phoenix scanned every area of Yi Kington's body. Your bloodline a long time later, the Divine Phoenix mumbled with a little surprise. Apart from its bloodline, the power of a primitive bloodline was actually hidden in Yi Kington's body. This bloodline had yet to be truly activated but it was terrifyingly powerful. Is this actually the immortal and Buddha bloodline? The divine phoenix seemed to be in deep thought before it looked at Yi Kington. Have you ever been to the fourth domain? The fourth domain? Yi Kington shook her head in reply. Lord divine phoenix, I have never been to the fourth domain. Do you know that your body has the immortal and Buddha bloodline? The divine phoenix asked, immortal and Buddha bloodline? Yi Kington was slightly startled. Why would there be the immortal and Buddha bloodline in her body? The immortal and Buddha bloodline is passed down by generations. Unless the person was a descendant of an immortal and Buddha, it is impossible for anyone to obtain the immortal and Buddha bloodline through any means. Since you have never been to the fourth domain, it should be that either your father or mother possesses the bloodline. After giving birth to you, the bloodline was inherited and you naturally have this type of bloodline as well. The Divine Phoenix explained. My parents Yi Kington's brows were slightly furrowed. She had already investigated in Nine Knights Dynasty, and all the evidence pointed to the fact that her mother once appeared on this mainland. Moreover, it was extremely likely that her mother was in the central mainland or was just a citizen of the central mainland. Yet, presently, the Divine Phoenix personally told her that either her father or mother possessed the immortal and Buddha bloodline. The power of this bloodline is extremely powerful, but it is still inactive. However, the immortal and Buddha bloodline is about opportunity. Perhaps, it wouldn't be able to activate in this lifetime. You don't need to think too much about it. The Divine Phoenix added, I understand said Yi Kington. However the Divine Phoenix paused and continued. Even if you have the immortal and Buddha bloodline, what has it got to do with the disappearance of most of the bloodline power that I inherited to you? Without giving Yi Kington a chance to speak, the Divine Phoenix continued to study Yi Kington's body constitution. About ten breaths later, the Divine Phoenix finally looked at Yi Kington's heart. How can this be? After it inspected Yi Kington's heart for a long time, the Divine Phoenix's expression changed suddenly. Lord Divine Phoenix, may I know what happened? Yi King Tung asked hurriedly. Does your heart belong to you? The Divine Phoenix asked sternly. Seeing that the Divine Phoenix was so solemn, Yi King Tung hesitated for a moment but finally told the truth. Lord Divine Phoenix, this heart is indeed not mine. Where is it from? The Divine Phoenix asked again. The heart of the Demon God is from the Demon God Helpless. Yi Kington could only confess everything. Impossible. How is that the heart of the Demon God in your body? 
the divine phoenix exclaimed particularly solemnly, this is clearly the heart of the heavenly Tao, what has it got to do with the so-called demon god, heart of the heavenly Tao, in both lives, it was the first time Yi Kington heard about this supposed heart of the heavenly Tao, what was the heart of the heavenly Tao, it was clearly the heart of the demon god in her body, but why did it become the heart of the heavenly Tao, something she had never heard before, when said by the divine phoenix, chapter 936 the heart of the heavenly Tao 3 kington, where did you get this heart from? the divine phoenix looked at ye kington and questioned, a confusion filled ye kington's face, even ye kington, herself, did not know where exactly the heart of the demon god in her body came from, it was as though the heart of the demon god was stored in her body when she woke up from sleep, seeing that ye kington was unaware as well, the divine phoenix's expression turned solemn, kington, most of the inheritance's ability which I passed to you was absorbed by this heart in your body, what you obtained is only an extremely tiny portion, however, it is fortunate that the bloodline is combined rather completely, Yi Kington was slightly startled and in disbelief when she heard the divine phoenix, the heart of the demon god in her body was not the heart of the demon god but the heart of the heavenly Tao, furthermore, this heart even devoured the power of the inheritance which the divine phoenix gave her, Yi Kington's mind was a little confused for a moment, she truly did not know what exactly happened, the heart of the demon god which she had always believed to be, was actually completely unrelated to the demon god, immortal and Buddha bloodline, heart of the heavenly Tao, I see why. A long time later, the scarlet glow on Yi Kington's body was collected back by the divine phoenix, Lord divine phoenix, please resolve my doubts, what exactly is going on with the heart of the heavenly Tao Yi Kington looked at the divine phoenix with desperation to find all her answers. The heart of the heavenly Tao belongs to the heavenly Tao, only the powers of the heavenly Tao can condense and nurture it, however, you are merely immortal, but the heart of the heavenly Tao is in your body, this is sufficient to show that you became a vessel the divine phoenix stared at Yi Kington meaningfully, vessel, Yi Kington frowned as she listened to the divine phoenix's explanation, I have already died for millions of years and am completely unaware of what is happening outside right now, this is merely my conjecture, actually, it is difficult for an ordinary person to nurture the heart of the heavenly Tao, it is just that you happen to possess the immortal and Buddha bloodline in your body, which coincidentally contains a trace of the power of the great Tao, hence, the heart of the heavenly Tao remained in your body for a long time, I don't know why you have the heart of the heavenly Tao, but it is definitely not a good thing to have it in your body, the divine phoenix said with a sigh. Yi Kington did not have anything to retort the divine phoenix, indeed, this heart brought her too many disasters, everyone thought that the heart in her body was the heart of the demon god and vied for it one after another, resulting in Yi Kington's eventual death in her previous life, even Yi Kington, herself, never doubted the authenticity of the heart of the demon god, if she did not hear it from the divine phoenix, she probably would never doubt this heart, Kington, this heart of the heavenly Tao will devour your cultivation endlessly, if you didn't have this heart, you would probably already be a yang lord of the yin yang perfected lord realm and not a mere yin yang perfected lord third heaven realm, with the addition of the power of my inheritance, you would already have advanced to a heavenly venerate, pity was evident in the divine phoenix's voice, lord divine phoenix, may I ask if there's any way to take this heart out? Yi Kington looked at the Divine Phoenix and asked with a frown. How long has this heart been in your body, if it's less than a month, perhaps there's still a chance for remedy, the Divine Phoenix said, it has long been over a month Yi Kington replied, there's no way then. The Divine Phoenix sighed, this heart of the heavenly Tao has been in your body for a long time, and there would be dire consequences once it is taken out. Chapter 937 The Heart of the Heavenly Tao 4, Misfortune May Be a Blessing in Disguise, Kington, you don't need to be too worried, no one is able to determine whether it is a blessing or a disguise, although this heart may bring you endless calamities, if you make use of it appropriately, perhaps you can reprieve from death, you must remember never to believe the heart of the heavenly Tao of yours, otherwise, you will definitely be struck with a death calamity and cease to exist. The Divine Phoenix advised earnestly in a grave tone, Thank you for the advice, Lord Divine Phoenix, I will engrave this in my heart. 
Yi King Tung thanked the Divine Phoenix, currently, Yi King Tung only wished to know what exactly was it with this so-called heart of the heavenly Tao in her body. How did it enter her body? Who did it belong to? Why did she become a vessel for it? What kind of presence was the mastermind who used her to nurture this heart? King Tung, my last remaining power is already fully depleted. I hope that you can remember that you are the successor of the Divine Phoenix. When you meet any difficulties, don't retreat and brave it head on. The Divine Phoenix's voice suddenly weakened at that instant. The Divine Phoenix had already died millions of years ago, and this last trace of spirit was just to search for the only successor. Now, the Divine Phoenix had already fulfilled its wishes, and there was no regret to be spoken of. Lord Divine Phoenix, for some reason, dejection arose within Yi King Tung as she looked at the Divine Phoenix which was about to vanish. Immediately, Yi King Tung knelt on the ground and kowtowed to the Divine Phoenix. Thank you, Lord Divine Phoenix. I will never forget that I am the successor of the Divine Phoenix. Good the Divine Phoenix was gratified. In my last moment, let me give you a final present. As it spoke, a scarlet glow suddenly surged out and penetrated into Yi King Tung's body. This scarlet glow instantly wrapped Yi King Tung's heart of the heavenly Tao and an extremely powerful force sealed the heart of the heavenly Tao utterly. Lord Divine Phoenix. Yi King Tung gazed at the Divine Phoenix. Even at its very last moment, its last trace of spirit was still thinking about her. Ah, what a pity. My powers have long been depleted over the years. Otherwise, I may be able to help you with the heart of the heavenly Tao. Kington, remember, this heart is temporarily sealed by me, but it will not persist for long. During this period of time, it will be unable to continue devouring your cultivation, and you can strengthen yourself to become even more formidable. As the Divine Phoenix finished its sentence, the scarlet figure in the air dimmed increasingly and eventually turned into invisible energy that lingered within the palace. Lord Divine Phoenix. Seeing that the Divine Phoenix had disappeared completely, Yi Kington had a complicated expression. However, Yi Kington realized that although the Divine Phoenix's last trace of spirit had vanished, its energy was shackled in this palace. If I could obtain the spirit condensation pearl, Yi Kington mumbled in thought. Before Yi Kington could think deeply about the idea, it was as though heaven and earth reversed. It seemed like the blink of an eye yet also as long as an entire century. When Yi Kington opened her eyes once again, she was already outside the palace and that palace was nowhere to be found as if it was hidden by an enormous power. Yi Kington, who obtained the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix, was finally sent out. Chapter 938 Devouring Bloodline, 1 However, shortly after Yi King Tung left the palace, the girl in green slowly emerged from behind a huge tree. It was the same girl one who had passed to the last stage of the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix with Yi King Tung. The girl had been confident that she would win when the Divine Phoenix had passed over her at the last moment. Instead, it was Yi King Tung who obtained the inheritance of the Divine Phoenix. At that moment, the girl in green was looking at Yi Kington with ice cold eyes. She had clearly been waiting for a long time. The girl in green slowly walked towards Yi Kington. You have finally come out. I have been waiting here for a long time. The girl in green glared at Yi Kington and spoke coldly. Her eyes were filled with intense coldness. Oh? Yi Kington stared at the girl in green and said calmly, I have no dealings with you and don't know you. Why are you waiting here for me? Nothing much. I just wanted to congratulate you, said the girl in green. Congratulate me? The corners of the Yi Kington's mouth curved slightly, and she laughed coldly. Thanks. However, said the girl in green, as she suddenly narrowed her eyes, her tone also changed. Good things should be shared. The inheritance of the Divine Phoenix is the power of the original Phoenix bloodline and is very pure. Can you share some of it with me? Otherwise, with your spirit root and ability, possessing such a pure and powerful bloodline will only endanger your life and bring calamity. The girl in green gave Yi Kington a disdainful look. A mere yellow spirit root? What you mean is that you intend to seize the power of my bloodline? Yi Kington laughed coldly as she looked at the girl in green. But Yi Kington was curious. The power of a bloodline was integrated with one's body. Unlike a spirit root, which had a physical body, and hence could be dug out from the body, it was impossible to seize the power of a bloodline. However, 
The girl in green seemed to be planning to seize her phoenix bloodline. How was she going to do that? Ah the girl in green laughed coldly, her proud glance passed over Yi Kingtung, and her expression clearly showed her disdain. I am not seizing, I am merely taking back. Only someone powerful can control and possess a powerful bloodline. It is not something that belongs to a weakling like you. As she spoke. The girl's frightening aura instantly diffused and spread out in a ten meter wide circle that enclosed Yi Kingtung, divine arcane supremacy. Yi Kingtung's eyes narrowed when she sensed the girl in green's martial aura. The girl in green was worthy of having peak martial talents and a blue spirit root. To have achieved this grade at her age, it was no exaggeration to say that she was a genius. If not for an accidental abortion of her plan, in the future, the girl in green would become a powerful cultivator of at least the holy venerate level, or perhaps even an emperor level supreme chief, which was above the level of holy venerate. It was just that although the girl in green had reached the stage of divine arcane supremacy, in this mainland where spirit energy was scarce, the girl in green's martial abilities and cultivation were repressed to the level of yin yang perfected lord eighth heaven. Yi Kington had just obtained the bloodline passed to her by the divine phoenix and also possessed the mirror of illusions. Her own martial abilities had reached the stage of yin yang perfected lord seventh heaven, so she had no reason to fear the girl in green. You think you can beat me? The eyes of the girl in green were cold and remote. Do you think that you have nothing to fear because you have obtained the inheritance of the original phoenix? Chapter 939 Devouring Bloodline, 2 Before Yi Kington could speak, a voice suddenly rang out in her mind. Miss Yi, this girl has a mutated demonic bloodline, which has evolved into the devouring bloodline. She can devour the power of all the bloodlines in the world. She is looking for an opportunity to devour your bloodline, remember. Ling Yan. Yi Kingtung frowned slightly. It was indeed Ling Yan's voice. However, it was a voice that Ling Yan had sealed a long time ago with the power of karma. This meant that Ling Yan had known long ago that she would meet this girl in green and that this situation would develop. Ling Yan's schemes aside, Yi Kington was shocked by the girl in green's devouring bloodline. The devouring bloodline was also called the taboo bloodline. Since the time of the gods and sages, it was an invincible bloodline that had been cursed. This was not to say that the devouring bloodline itself was particularly strong. However, the devouring bloodline could devour all the bloodlines in the world. Even a god's bloodline could be easily devoured and converted for one's own use. Furthermore, it was already very difficult for most ordinary cultivators to possess the power of one bloodline, but the devouring bloodline was different. It could devour millions of bloodlines and integrate them into one body. Having the devouring bloodline was equivalent to possessing the power of all the bloodlines in the world. It could be said that whoever possessed the devouring bloodline could devour any bloodline in the world. There were many kinds of bloodlines in the world each with a different effect, but all of them could give its possessor huge strength. The devouring bloodline that could devour all bloodlines was so powerful and dangerous that it was terrifying. However, the devouring bloodline was very rare, even in primordial times, it had only appeared transiently. What's the matter? Are you scared now? The girl in green was looking at Yi Kington with a calm and icy expression. She continued to press towards Yi Kington at a moderate pace. Yi Kington ignored the girl. She was still pondering the meaning of Ling Yan's words. The meaning of the voice that Ling Yan had sealed was amply clear, she should allow the girl in green to devour the power of her bloodline. However, Yi Kington was unable to comprehend Ling Yan's line of thought. Why should the power of her bloodline be devoured by the girl in green? Could it be that the immortal and Buddha bloodline? Yi Kington suddenly frowned slightly, as if she had thought of something. Besides the bloodline of the divine phoenix's inheritance, an immortal and Buddha bloodline existed in her body. Based on what the divine phoenix had said, the heart of the heavenly Tao could be nurtured in her body because of the immense power of the immortal and Buddha bloodline. However, the girl in green possessed the devouring bloodline and could devour all the bloodlines in the world. This meant that her immortal and Buddha bloodline would also be devoured by her. In that case, after the immortal and Buddha bloodline in her body had been devoured, perhaps the heart of the heavenly Tao would also vanish or perhaps. The girl who had devoured her immortal and Buddha bloodline would become the new vessel. More and more clues and guesses continued to churn in Yi Kington's mind. At that moment, 
Yi Kington was unable to ascertain whether her guess was correct. However, Yi Kington did not have time to think any further. The girl in green's toes lightly pushed off from the ground, and she leapt over to Yi Kington. Yi Kington immediately pushed her bewilderment aside and drew her regicide sky blade. With a flick of her wrist, her sword instantly swept downward towards the girl in green. Swoosh. Chapter 940 Devouring Bloodline, 3. A piercing sound filled the space. This area seemed to lie prostrate and tremble under the sword. The scarlet sword gleam filled the air, destroying everything in its path and cutting a wide swath. However, just as Yi Kington drew the regicide sky blade, the girl vanished completely. It was as if she had melted into the air, and she was nowhere to be found. Boom, boom, boom. The next moment, a thunderous crash rang out. The scarlet sword gleam had smashed a mountain peak a thousand meters away, pulverizing it. The gravel fell to the ground like rain. You're pretty powerful. The girl suddenly tore through space, and she walked out from an unknown space. Space transfer. Yi Kington was stunned when she saw the girl tear space and walk out from it. This girl's skills were truly frightening. Even an emperor level cultivator could not compare with this girl's understanding and ability to manipulate space. If not for the fact that they were currently in this mainland where spirit energy was scarce, who knew how terrifying her real ability would be. However, before Yi Kington could recover her senses, the girl's right palm lightly touched Yi Kington's left shoulder. She said coldly, actually, the Divine Phoenix got some things wrong. The Divine Phoenix ascertained that my spirit root was blue. However, I have no spirit root. The blue spirit root was merely an illusion that I created. I could have even created a purple spirit root. The instant the girl in green finished speaking, a purple spirit root exploded within her body. The terrifying power of her spirit root seemed to trend both heaven and earth. All things prostrated themselves and trembled. This girl can actually create an illusion of a spirit root? Yi Kington was shocked. In her previous life, Yi Kington had been robbed of her spirit root, so her body had no spirit root. She had sought ways to create an illusion of a spirit root but all these methods could at most create an illusion of the lowest level red spirit root. But this girl in green could even create an illusion of a purple spirit root. In addition, based on what Yi Kington knew about the ability to create an illusion of a spirit root, one could only create an illusion of its form. There was no way to create an illusion of the true power of a spirit root. But this girl was different. With such shocking skills, a hundred, a thousand, or even 10,000 Yus was no match for her. That's not right. In this world, only a reincarnated true god can create an illusion of a spirit root. Yi Kington suddenly realized that something was amiss, and she frowned as she spoke. Oh you do have some knowledge. Have you found me out? The girl in green's lips curved upwards slightly, and she suddenly smiled mysteriously. You are a reincarnation of a true god Yi Kington stared at the girl in green. The so-called reincarnation of a true god occurred when a true god died and was reborn as a human. Only when its godlike powers were awakened could it be called a reincarnation of a true god. And only a reincarnation of a true god could easily create the illusion of any spirit root. The girl in green did not respond to Yi Kington. She only said coldly, I am pleased to accept the bloodline of the original divine phoenix. As the girl spoke, Yi Kington felt the bloodline within her body boiling. It was as if even her soul was being sucked out of her body. Not bad. The bloodline of the original divine phoenix is truly powerful. I am satisfied. The girl in green said coldly, Ling Yan, what do you mean by allowing this person to devour the power of my bloodline? Yi Kington frowned deeply. Ling Yan's words reverberated in her mind. 